All right, Asmongold is switching to YouTube, possibly, I guess. I want to see his thoughts. I'm interested to see his thoughts. It's 19 minutes long. Holy fuck. You're top five of my favorite streamers. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that, man. I really do, man. Start off and see what this guy says. Tim the Tap Man today was announced that he was going to be leaving YouTube. He's going to be leaving Twitch and going to YouTube. I'm telling you, man, if YouTube gets their shit together with the whole algorithm messing up with VODs and streams and all that other shit. Two years ago, I remember I watched the video whenever it was Tim and ironically Lupo and Lyric and I think one other person that all at the same time signed exclusive deals for Twitch. Well, these are all two-year deals. Just trust me, and I know that they're two-year deals. So this has run out at this point, and uh, Tim has pursued a contract with YouTube. YouTube is, uh, ah, so he actually in my signed opinion, the growing a lot in live streaming. And I think it's going to continue growing, and I want to talk about why that is, and the reasons that I think that YouTube is going to continue to expand and get bigger mm -hmm. uh, over time. Uh, one thing that a lot of people forget, and this is something that a lot of people just don't really, I, I, yeah, they just forget, they don't realize, is that for every one user that Twitch has, hey, yeah, it's a YouTube fact. has 200. YouTube is astronomically bigger is a fact. than Twitch is. It, it's not even remotely close. YouTube is, is massive, and uh, YouTube is also Google. You have to keep that in mind, too. So on a macro level, I think that Google and YouTube are just completely killing Twitch because uh, they just have a much larger endemic audience. They have a much larger group of people that are watching their content and everything. And on top of that, another big reason why I think YouTube is just so much bigger is the fact that it has so much more of a scope of content. I think that Twitch, this has been like a negative with Twitch. I think it's it served to be one, is that Twitch has not really been able to shed the skin of its gaming-centric platform expectation. So there's a lot of people who don't want to watch gaming. I think most people don't want to watch gaming. Whenever you really think about it, that's why YouTube and Twitch is a 1 to 200 ratio. Uh, a lot of people love love seeing like makeup tutorials, IRL videos, blogs, etc. Yeah, et IRL is freaking huge, man. I think huge, Twitch man. over the years has cultivated an audience of people who, uh, in a lot of ways, place in terms of virtue gaming above those other types of content. And I think this has been to the detriment, and it's been reductionist towards Twitch, and it's actually hurt Twitch's growth potential because people only look at Twitch in the context of being a gaming website rather than in the context of being a live streaming website. Oh, YouTube's yeah. going to buy them out. YouTube's not going to buy Twitch because, <laughs> uh, like, Amazon owns Twitch, and um, I don't really think that Amazon would get rid of Twitch. It would be possible, but I don't even know if they could buy Twitch, and that's really the, the truth because there are a lot of, like, antitrust and, like, anti-monopoly laws, and I think that if YouTube bought Twitch, that might actually uh, go into that territory, but you still do have Facebook to counterbalance it. So it's hard to say. YouTube and Twitch, the reason why YouTube is poised to be able to actually contest with Twitch and, and compete with Twitch in terms of live streaming space is that they both have endemic audiences. They both have organic audiences that exist on the platform. They're basically, whenever you bring over, whenever you bring over Shroud, whenever you bring over Ninja, you bring over one of these big content creators it's like taking a gigantic tree out of a forest. And if you plant that tree all by itself with no grass around it, no other vegetation around it, nothing, that tree is either going to stop growing or it's going to die. And the reason for that is because you need to create an ecosystem. And this is what YouTube is doing, is they are creating... Let me just start off by saying this guy talks so fucking well. This guy talks really well, bro. And I think that's why a lot of people follow him. Not only just because he's a good dude, but he talks fucking well, bro. I, I don't I don't talk nothing like that <laughs> at all. Much more of an ecosystem rather than what Mixer is doing. What Mixer did is they just picked up a few trees and they relocated them and the trees died. YouTube has got a completely different perspective with this. YouTube is picking up uh, Dr. Lupo. They're picking up Tim the Tatman. They already have Dr. Disrespect. Yeah, they are picking up uh, a lot They've of got extremists. a number of other content Courage. Like Courage. You have these Valkyrie. four people. Got a lot of people over there. Courage plays with Tim. And Tim plays with Doc. And Doc plays with Dr. Lupo. And then Dr. Lupo plays with Courage. 
and then Dr. Upo also plays with Tim, and then Dr. Upo and Tim and Courage all play together. So what is this? This is what's called cross-pollination. This is creating that ecosystem of viewership. So whenever a person stops watching Dr. Disrespect, they don't leave the platform. They go over and they watch another streamer on the platform. And I think that's really where YouTube is making a point of difference in the way that they can compete with Twitch legitimately, is that they're able to create that ecosystem itself. They're able to create the amount of people who are able to, yeah, it's a human, it is, it's a human centipede, you're right, it's basically what it is. You need to have those shrubs, you need to have those viewers, the, the streamers that are at 200, 500 viewers, you need to have those streamers that are up three, you know, 3,000, 30,000 viewers, you need to create the those entire, are all huge I think the best, names. again, Tim the best, fucking best metaphor for this is a forest. Courage, uh, Valkyrie, Ninja, imagine forest, having all those big streamers over there. Ecosystem. And whenever you do that, you don't uh, you don't just pick up trees. You don't just pick up shrubs. You pick up everything, and that's where I really think YouTube is going to be able to come out ahead. And that's why I think that Twitch should be concerned about YouTube, is because YouTube is uniquely poised to have the audience, they have the money, and they also can guarantee growth. There is there are success metrics and success cases on YouTube in the way that there are not on Mixer or not as much really on, on Facebook. And uh, Ninja, well, you, Ninja is the opposite, right? Ninja is the example of moving platforms and it being very bad. But the point that I'm making is that whenever you see these people moving over, most of the time this is a retirement plan. This is a sunset in their career. But what YouTube has been able to prove is that that is not the case. They've been able to prove that, and the creators. Tim the Tap Man's one of the biggest Warzone streamers. Yeah, I mean he's YouTube, huge, bro. And the water's just fine. If they get and Nick's merch over there, way, oh my god! I think that you can draw. I mean a lot that's of literally that's a lot of big streamers, man. It's pretty much the whole platform. <laughs> to YouTube, and people moving over from WoW to Final Fantasy XIV, because it takes a few people to move over and show that to legitimize the process and legitimize this decision for everybody else to feel uh, to feel more comfortable. Here, Here's the point. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys this right now. Do you know whenever YouTube is going to actually, you know what is going to legitimize YouTube as a streaming platform? Is whenever people move over there without getting paid. That is whenever it begins. And the more people that you have over there that are already building an ecosystem like Tim, Doc, Dr. <laughs> Dr. Lupo and Doc. How are they both doctors? Like, I don't, how are they, but they're not, I, we, we, know, we know that. We know they're not real doctors, but still. Seriously, and, that's a lot of big uh, names though, bro. As soon as you bro. start seeing enough of I mean, there's gonna be a bunch of big names if this happens. That are able to cross pollinate each other and keep those viewers on the platform, then you're going to see other people wanting to transition over to playing uh, and, and streaming on, on YouTube. I think that once that happens, the moment that happens, that's whenever all bets are off. That's whenever it's gonna be a real competition between Twitch and YouTube. And I think that really this would have happened way earlier. The only reason why it hasn't happened earlier is because on, in, in Twitch contracts, in every single Twitch contract, except for like maybe a handful of grandfathered contracts or something like that with specific partners, every single one has an exclusivity clause. And, and what that means is that you can only stream on Twitch. That's it. Because here's the uh, here's the truth. Here, here here's the reality. Is that do you yeah, remember I think if you're when partner, everyone watched Gamescom? Case. Did I watch that on Twitch or did I watch it on YouTube? I watched it on YouTube, and the reason for that is because their their video player is better. That's it. Their video player is better. Now, I, and I, I said this to someone on Twitter. I said that, well, someone's like, oh, well, Twitch has a better chat experience. I hate to tell you guys this, but most people don't care about chat. But what I will say is that if you think the YouTube chat is worse, ask yourself the simple question. Is it easier to solve the problem of bad audio and video quality, or is it easier to solve the problem of a bad chat experience? By the way, streaming, what happened to Mixer? They pretty much just, they got bought out. They, it is so obvious that it is I think way they got bought out, they just, or I don't know what exactly chat. happened. They just, they it didn't make it pretty much in the streaming service. to add in emotes and to add in 
different they types were, of things that simulate they were adding, the value. They were adding like um, they were adding some type of competition, but they weren't really like getting as big as like Facebook gaming is getting pretty big right now. Uh, YouTube and Twitch are the main three, but Mixer just wasn't. I don't know. They weren't cutting it, but I think they sold the company or I'm not really sure exactly what happened, um, but they just decided that they're not going to um, they're not going to be a streaming company anymore and they just ended it. That's it. Do up Twitch chat. Um, no, for me, right? I guess I'll talk about like for me personally, would I ever move to YouTube? Uh, I know a lot of people ask about that all the time and like especially today they're like oh man is Asman taking some time off because he's going to move to YouTube? Uh, no. Um, I'm not planning on moving to YouTube right now. Now if YouTube wants to pay me 20 million dollars we'll see what happens. But um, well, I'm, I'm waiting, 20 for, million. The, I'm waiting for the check. Fuck. Let's just say that. Yeah I'm waiting Jeez. for the check. I think that like the funny thing is that more yeah, people I just heard they vanish. Yeah, they didn't make it as a streaming company. Twitch. Like for example um, on the month that I played Final Fantasy, I got like on Twitch, I think it was like 14 million views because there's like an, a, a graphic that was made about it. like 14 million live views on Twitch or views on like my VODs and like my, my videos. 14 million. I got over 50 million views on YouTube. Over 50 fucking million views. I'm very lucky for that. I want to say thank you guys That's crazy. for watching this on YouTube, which is why I'm really kind of making this video. Yeah, this isn't like a weird thing where I'm going to go on break, but stream for 12 hours a day on Zach Rar or something. Like, I, I, There's a lot of, like, I'll talk about reason why I want to go on break. Just like, there's a lot of reasons, but like, I, I want people to understand that it's really got nothing to do. Uh, think about like a car. Okay, like let me let me just go ahead and, and use this as an example. Like think about it, like a car. I feel like the car that I have that's my stream is not running properly. And the annoying people on Twitter and everything like that, that's like having a mosquito in the car while you're driving. Is it annoying? Does it make it a little bit worse? Yeah, it does. But that's not really what the problem is. It's not. I think that I'm at like a weird crossroads of like the way that I want to do my streams. And I've been thinking about this for a long time, and I don't know what to do. And that's why I'm taking a little bit of a break to figure out what I want to do and how I want to go forward. That's really what it comes down to. And, uh, and he's such a big really streamer, bro. With, Whatever uh, he does, I mean, it's gonna people being mean. He's gonna do whatever. Well. Like obviously, it <clears> makes <throat> it worse. Yeah, sure. But like, it's not really not really effective you want to stop playing final fantasy no that's not it uh I, actually i wish i could play it more but i want to save everything for being on stream so uh yeah it's, it's actually the opposite in the way choosing a yeah i want to choose the direction for my stream what i want to do with my stream i think that's really what it comes down to i'm, I'm trying <laughs> to figure out like, need what direction to go <laughs> there's also like real life oh, things uh, that are going on too uh, i said before like my mom's been kind of like not feeling well and uh it's been harder for her to get around the house that that's not been good and um uh it, it's it's been it's been it's been not good and so uh yeah there's really a lot of things going on behind the scenes that people don't really don't really know uh that that's the point hope you're gonna be okay soon me too i just like I'm, I'm gonna try to take i'm trying to take some time off too like i'm gonna try to get the house cleaned up for her and really just do some stuff to try to just make her life better you know because like if we're not doing it hopefully whenever i want i go get food Hmm. But uh feels like everything else around me is getting old. Brand risk, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> um that's fine. That's fine. Like it made me I, I was I it, it bothered me for like a day and then I realized that why do I need a stamp of approval from a bunch of people that don't even like me? So I can't stream on YouTube or they'd terminate my partnership. They probably wouldn't, it'd be just like a bunch of drama and it, it's like I, I wouldn't want to deal with it. What about making a new platform with other streamers? <laughs> That's like making a new country, man. Uh, it's, uh, you know, you don't like America. Making a whole new platform. Not too good. Uh, truth is, like, uh, doing something like that is really hard. And unless you have, like, the... Think about the people that are the the, lives, the players in, in, in live streaming, right? You got Amazon, Google. Yeah, those are fucking... Um, Microsoft. Triple million Mixer, dollar companies, bro. Facebook. And what is it going to be? An OTK? We're not there yet, man. We're, we're not we're not there yet. So there's a there's a long long way for us to go. Uh, I think we're gonna see a number of other people leave to YouTube um, uh, very soon. And uh, as I said, I think that whenever YouTube is truly going to become 
a powerful competitor to uh, to Twitch is whenever people go to YouTube without being paid a million dollars. Yeah. Whenever that happens, that's whenever you're really going to see the change occur. And I want you guys to understand this as a viewer. This is good for streamers because streamers get more money. This is good for viewers because the quality of the content that you're competing, uh, that you're watching is competing with each other. So it's getting better and better, better and better. Yeah. I'll give you an example of this just to kind of, uh, uh, to, to, to give you an example, is that, do you remember whenever the Xbox 360, no, 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 the Xbox One came out and they were gonna make it to where you had to always have it plugged into the internet and where you had to, uh, you couldn't resell games and, and like there were a bunch of these other like was weird a big in a that time. policies with it. I think 360 is when the I was- The reason why playing. that didn't happen is not because of Microsoft. It's because of Sony. It's because Sony said, we're bringing out the PS4. It's not gonna have any of that bullshit. Thanks for playing our games all these years. This is for you. And you got a better Xbox One because of Sony. And yeah. that's what I think is gonna happen with <clears throat> YouTube and Twitch. It's gonna be so a hard for race, you, the viewers, bro, to be honest. For us, the streamers, we win. Keep that in mind. Uh, I, I think he's definitely right, man. I really feel like, like I said this for a long time, bro. I said when Facebook gets to the point where, I mean, Facebook, bro, when YouTube gets to the point that they're fucking, um, you know, like they're streaming, they can diversify between real videos and their whole algorithm shit. And they can get that on point. I haven't been in a live stream YouTube chat in a long time. So I don't know if they've really changed much since I was last live stream on YouTube, but I really do feel that in the long run, YouTube's gonna obviously be the best, but I feel like right now in this moment, the best thing to do is stream on Twitch, make content on YouTube. So you build an audience, make a content on other platforms, obviously. And then when YouTube's on the top and you see that YouTube's doing very well in streaming, then that's when you say, all right, I'm gonna switch my audience from Twitch straight to YouTube, but you already grown an audience on YouTube. so. From there you'll be okay you know that's crazy that is pretty fucking crazy man. but there's a big there's a huge audience that can grow on youtube man it's just really hard to diversify between streams and um videos you know i don't know we'll see there's honestly a lot that could happen